also taking a closer look at how the president's policies on the border have impacted our community. And one particular change was an end to the safe release policy for asylum seekers. Tenders reporter Matt Boone joins us live downtown with how that change has forced local agencies to step in. Matt. Lindsay, we've known about this shelter here at the former family courthouse before, but what we just learned this week is they have helped nearly 12,000 migrants who've crossed the border since October. That was work that was previously done by the federal government. That stopped in October, and it's now forced these local agencies to step in and pick up the pieces in this ever-changing situation. We find out the numbers every afternoon. Michael Hopkins is the CEO of Jewish Family Service, which oversees the operation of the shelter as part of the Rapid Response Network. Sometimes it's 50, sometimes it's 100. Uh, last week we had nights where there were over 200. Most are families who've been allowed entry after passing a credible fear interview at the border. You know, many of them are wearing the same clothes that they've worn for months. And so uh, the first thing we do is we, you know, we, we have a ton of clothes donated and we replace their clothes with, some, with new clothes. They also give medical care and legal aid. Most stay for less than 72 hours. A lot of the work that we do is we get folks on to uh, the bus or the plane uh, and, uh, and get them to where they to their destination. That work used to be done by ICE under a policy known as safe release, but it ended in October. In response, the County of San Diego filed a lawsuit against the Department of Homeland Security. This is a federal problem, and, and so, I mean, to believe that you could just drop migrants off uh, on our streets with no plan, and then the county and the state and the city have to then, and the NGO, NGO community has to take responsibility. So I, I understand the lawsuit, and I actually applaud the county for, uh, for saying, like, this is wrong. However, while he would appreciate federal funding, Hopkins says at this point he trusts their system more than the federal government's. We've had visit from uh, ICE, and they've seen our shelter, and... Um, and I think they'll be the first to tell you that, um, that we've got this down to a science, so to speak. And um, I'm not sure that it would be in our best interest for ICE to maintain this program. And we'll see what happens as that lawsuit moves forward. We did get a response from the Department of Homeland Security. They said they will continue to make changes to their immigration policy until they get more resources from Congress. Reporting live downtown, Matt Boone, 10 News.